Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into my Matco toolbox and just quickly going through it. Things have changed quite a bit. Um, I just recently went through the top half of my Husky box and the bottom half of my Husky box keeping them separate to try and keep the videos you know decent lengths. So we're going to be doing the the uh, Matco box now. Up top I have the Olsa Tools organizer. It's good for you know ratchets, extensions, screwdrivers, uh, lo a lot of different things so that's really nice it's magnetic then I have a couple magnetic trays up there and then up top I have all of my wrenches as far as this box I have more in this box over here but you saw that in the previous uh, toolbox tour video and then I have the Tekton new hard handled screwdrivers classic handle design I'll bring you guys in for a quick little sneak peek of everything a little bit up close the Tekton screwdrivers, the launch oh, scan tool, Millennium 90, flatheads and Phillips, new Tekton design. Did a video on these, so stay tuned for that if I haven't already released it. Then I have all of my wrenches up here as well, which are all Matco, I believe, in this box. Yeah. Matco. And then I am using the toolbox widget in order to organize all of this and keep everything really nice and clean. So. And then I have the Easy Red double box end ratcheting wrenches over here, whereas in my other box I have my Gear Wrench 120XP double box end wrenches. Alrighty, so in the first drawer over here on the right I have quarter inch shallow and deep and uh, I have this still Silver Eagle. I got for 3 h drive the Pittsburgh because I needed 12 point for 3 h and it didn't have it. Uh, but I didn't need it all that often so that's why I went Pittsburgh. Uh, and then over here is all Silver Eagle. Silver Eagle ratchets with the quick release. I don't really use ratchets with quick release now. Uh, I prefer non-quick release. The Carlisle long half inch ratchet, long extension. These are my 3 8 uh, impact sockets, shallow and deep. I don't really use the shallows. Um, also keep in mind that most of these tools in this box were supplied while I was going to college. Uh, so I didn't get a pick what I needed or anything like that. And as you guys might know, my new job provides me with all the tools. So this setup is all strictly used here at home. Uh, so I don't need all of these. You know, I'm not working on a, you know, five, ten different cars every single day uh, with a hundred different issues. So 3H drive, I really just use the deep well. I use my 10, 13, 15, uh, 18, and 19, and that's basically it. And then same thing over here are my half inch drive. I use my 10, you know, 13, 15, 18, 19, Uh, 21 and that's really it I got the half inch drive Pittsburgh 12 points because I needed those a couple times and I didn't need to spend a whole lot of money and then I got these Matco these are all Matco by the way uh, the Matco 12 point impact 3H drive and universal impact sockets so 13 great little uh sockets here <laughs> can definitely save you a headache and then the 12 points as well which is very handy so over here I have all of the Tekton trilobe screwdrivers and then I have a Matco pick set and the new Tekton 6-in-1 screwdrivers that are now available so once again all the products here are basically linked down in the description as much as I could possibly find as far as things that I do suggest. So, moving on down, we have basically the same setup but I use SAE a lot less here at home. So over here I have the quarter inch drive, shallow and deep, with a Carlisle quarter inch, snap on quarter inch, 3 8 shallow and deep, this is all Silver Eagle, uh, Carlisle. 3H drive ratchet, snap on 3H drive ratchet. Um, once again, 
the Pittsburgh 12 point for 3 8 shallow. 3 8 impact, which I really don't use <laughs> at all. Um, I just don't need it unless for some reason a uh, fastener is rusted or worn or anything like that because everything I have here at home is basically, for a majority, is metric. Um, and then a couple of the larger impact sockets I do use, but not very often. Uh, I have an impact Allen set and Torx set. They're both from Nyko because I didn't need anything expensive. And these ones are actually holding up pretty well. Uh, other than that, I have the Gear Wrench 90 tooth ratchets over here. These are the set without comfort grip. I also have the comfort grip as well. So. Really nice little ratchets. I did a video on these as well, so stay tuned for those if you haven't already seen it. We're getting a little bit more miscellaneous now. That's kind of what this toolbox is, the bottom half. So down here I kind of have my brake tools. I got my brake caliper tool from uh, Lang. Great tool to have, pushing your pistons back in. I got the Matco hose clamp pliers over here gear wrench, oil filters, some different oil filter uh, sockets and adapters. My fluke multimeter, a little flexible funnel. This is great for cars where they put the drain plug in a stupid spot or like over the cross member frame. You can kind of bend this exactly how you want and get the oil to drain and it kind of saves you from cleaning up stuff from going everywhere. So that's really nice. I have a Cronova, a little multimeter, a little test light down here, matte code test light. Uh, this is another borescope power probe. I actually had a power probe, it was basically the cheapest one you could get, uh, and it was okay. But this one has a lot more to it. This is a digital readout, and it's actually, it's not, you know, name brand, but it works really well. I have my Matco Sledge, Matco Deblo, all the Tecton uh, punches and chisels made in the USA. Really heavy duty stuff. So, and then I have uh, some impact extensions. This is my Gear Wrench Master Torque and Allen Bit socket set. Uh, you have all your long Allens and Torques. These are ball Allens. And then you have your quarter inch drive. Allen and Torx, 3 8 half inch drive, and then you have your D-Torx or external Torx as well. I have a gear wrench panel popper, sorry my heat just turned on in the garage. Uh, panel popper, don't really use this all that often, these are metal, so anytime I try and pop a panel I try and use like a plastic trim tool or anything like that so I don't damage it. So luckily I didn't spend a whole lot of money on these, not that they're bad quality, just don't use them all that often. OEM tools bit socket adapter set or socket adapter this is my matco flip socket set don't really use that because i have a dedicated impact uh, lug nut socket set um, especially since all my vehicles here at home have specialty lug nuts here i have oem tools oil filter uh, socket set this was definitely needed on my old 2012 malibu with the 2.4 liter ecotech which had the oil cartridge, and you had to have a shallow socket like this. And I, I want to say it was a 32. I want to say that's what I used. Uh, Tectons impact screwdriver, and just some cheap uh, triple squares, just in case I ever need them for you know Volkswagens or anything like that. And then this bottom drawer has changed a lot. It is now all of my power tools and stuff that I had laying around in a cabinet that I had to clear out. So. Don't judge this drawer. You know, the cheap Black & Decker uh, circular saw. You got the drill that, the, oh, let's not get started. My dad rebuilt it because the circular saw burnt up when I was trying to build a pantry. And literally first piece of wood just went out. So he took it home, fixed it up, brought it back to me. Uh, other than that, I had bought this to replace it, the skill. Um, and then I just have, you know, like a cheap hammer drill and <laughs> just miscellaneous. These are my cheaper power tools. Uh, and then I got, you know, my hammers and pry bars and finishing nails and screws and 
sandpaper and it's it's a mess down here let's not even get started so uh, that, that's it as far as my matco toolbox if you guys have any questions please feel free to drop it down in the comments i'm always happy to uh, reply to you guys other than that i really hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please make sure to hit that thumbs up if you guys are interested in any of these items it is linked down in the description for you guys and uh drop a comment of your thoughts and if you haven't please subscribe see you guys next time